Pitcher on the bench with 12. Clarkson comes in, the six-man award winner with Favors, Ingles, Conley, and O'Neill. That's Utah's five. Allen from way outside. Rebound by Royce O'Neal. It's the sixth consecutive playoff series that the Utah Jazz have fallen behind after game one. Six in a row. Usually begin on the road. This time at home. Favors inside. Good feed by Royce O'Neal. How good was Derek Favors in game one, especially with the foul trouble to Rudy Gobert. Good point. Felt that he had done a great job of this man in that middle at both ends of the floor. He had 12 points and 11 rebounds, double double, and he only averaged five and five during the regular season. And a few blocks as well. Yes, he did. Three of them. Into Jackson, hemmed in, and a foul. With 3.15 to go here in the first quarter in game two. Look at Royce O'Neal. Favors will pick up the foul. It is the first on him, and here is once again Sharon Jackson at the free throw line. Seven points in game one. Scan for your shot to experience everything courtside has to offer. Echolove Ultra is giving you the chance to win tickets to the NBA playoffs, as well as some other amazing prizes. Look at that arena. That is a beautiful sight. Yes. The garden tonight we just saw. That was a beautiful sight. Well. Thank you, fans. We appreciate you. We have not forgot about you. Absolute beauty. Reggie, in game one, I think it was probably agreed that Memphis was the more physical team. Absolutely. And I think defensively, I, mean, I talked about this in game one, they are sneaky good defensively because of their ability to switch. Look at that. Right inside by Clarkson. George Niang is checked in. Gobert in there in the middle. Morant will rock it the other way. Down low, they got Melton and back out to Morant for three. Rebound by Rudy Gobert. Double-double in game one. His angle's in the corner. He's made the most threes in the history of the Jazz organization. Gobert's got good placement. Niang for three. George Niang. But how about the pass out of the post by Gobert? Niang had those looks in game one. Couldn't find a way to get him down. Tonight knocks down his first. Plus 15 advantage from that three-point line for the Jazz. There's a foul and a basket inside. Conley is going to pick it up. Mike Conley, 33-year-old, 14-year veteran with all those years in Memphis and playing the team that is so much a part of the fabric of his playing career. Morant will be at the line. Eight points for him, Reggie. Can complete the three-point play with Gobert right there. Eight has been the biggest lead for the Jazz so far in this one. Approaching the two-minute mark of the first quarter. Ingles off the screen. Gobert on the move. I'm wondering why is Gobert open so much? He is setting the best screens for his team. Beautiful move again by Morant, who's in double figures now with 10. Boy, he just slants down there, finds that angle, puts it in. Xavier Tillman is coming now in the middle four. The Grizzlies, Niang inside, contorts and fires and is fouled. George Niang with a career year. Look at the screen here. Beautiful screen. Ingles drops a beautiful pass right on the fingertips and Morant. Who just picked up his first foul, Reg. Think about this, Morant is out. So Brooks has two, Valanciunas has two, two big parts of this Memphis team. Morant with ten on the bench with one. So they got three of their uh, best players right now in the last minute 48 that will sit out. How about this for Coach Jenkins? Gambling. You've got five bench players on the floor right here for this last minute 48. Talk about a young team growing up during the playoffs. Yeah, gathering that experience, Kevin. Tyus Jones is coming. He's got the ball. It's off to Tillman, who played well in that Friday game in Golden State to get in the playoffs. 
Bean is on top. He is a rookie out of TCU. Terrific three-point shooter, the top rookie three-point shooter in the NBA. It's Joe Ingles the other way. The Australian drops it off and go bare. Utah shooting 55%. Conley against Allen. Shot clock at six. Clarkson is screened with the switch. Playing by the Grizzlies. Anthony Melton the other way. In the corner, Bain three, book it. Puts it right down the hatch. Didn't score in game one. Puts that one up and in. Flat out shooter for Desmond Bain. Screen roll, go bear instead of kicks it outside. A three by Joe Ingles. He's got his second. He's got six and two and two from distance. We only made 12 threes in game one. We already have half of those right now here in quarter number one. Screen firing, missing. And a difference of about four seconds. Game clock and shot clock winding down this first. Memphis won game one with an upset. Mitchell was not a part of the Utah attack in game one on Sunday night. Tonight he plays, and he's already been hurt from with 12. Looking great and very sharp. Three. Kindly. Mike Kindly puts it in from outside. The 7-3. Utah has gone seven of ten from distance, and it's Jones getting it to go. Curling around, slanting inside, finds the two the hard way. Mike Conley here just measuring this long three versus Allen gets it knocked down. But how about Jones right here? The high teardrop with the shot.